Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression and Start Studio Gallery in the backyard and I have what is left of a pan of colors and what is left of what started out as a ring pour cup but what I want to do is take some of my favorite colors put them into the pan of colors grab a shovel and have my way with them which might include adding some pink because I think it needs it. I really want to use my Princeton Artel Cattle of Spatula, but I think I've left them all in the bucket, so the chances of that right now aren't very good. I often like the little black voids that come when you're... Um, adding your shovel but I never really left them and I think it's time to give myself that opportunity I gotta have a <laughs> I'm just gonna wipe one off on my paint rag clothing and hope there isn't too much water left on it because there is some on my hands <laughs> That's going in the bucket. This is going right down here. I can always add some colors like red. As obnoxious as that might sound. Yeah, that went right down onto my canvas. Okay, well, I wanted to tip anyway, but I think before I tip, I'm gonna get some of these things out of the way and grab an edge catcher, although I'm not sure that this is that time to use that edge catcher. But I am sure that I made up, there are my glasses. That will help immensely. <laughs> I made up some Anita's metallic and I will use it. How about an edge catcher? Yeah, how about a shorter edge catcher? Peel them apart. I'll let everything run and have some fun. See what we got. And where it all decides to go. We'll get some interesting negative space. I kind of want to use some gold in there tell you the truth. And I've got some paint left. I kind of want, what do I want in there? I want some blue. I don't know what I'm going to get and it may just be the first part of something that I use tomorrow to do something entirely different with or it could turn out really cool I do kind of need to use up all this paint though and it looks like I'm getting pretty close to it too I think that is going in the bucket in a second. Just like that one in the pool. All right, into the bucket it goes. I'm going to try and take a, take stock of what I don't have here. I'm going to use a little bit of this mica powder, purple, because it's so cool. And it might actually show up on the black. What else am I going to do in there? I want orange. Why do I always want orange? Because it's... It zhuzhes everything up, obviously. I want some yellow. I might want some more red. I definitely love this pink up here. 
but I still have some left of. I don't want it to be too quick, which reminds me, I'm probably going to be pretty quick. And uh, if you guys want to help me out, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It uh, helps the YouTube algorithm know that you like me enough to want to help me have my videos found by more people. And the more people who find my videos, the more likely I am to keep doing this for you, which I really like. It's a little hot in the summertime in Florida, but other, th other than that, I can, I can pretty much manage it. There's some neat stuff going on there, and I really think that if I tipped, I'd get a whole bunch of other effects. I'm not sure how much further to go, or if I've already gone too far, but um, I'm still having a good time. So watch some more videos. There's 750 of my videos now, and they're all on the end screens. Should you decide you'd like to watch them, I have a bamboo skewer. And a desire to find out what happens when I use it and rotate it with that mica powder. I also have a silicone basting brush. I have more, I just haven't started using them yet. Thank you, Michelle. I'm going to clean that off. I'm going to use my red somewhat. I got some neat stuff happening and I kind of like it a lot. I could throw beads or chain in there. But I think I'm just going to let it be what it is, which is pretty cool, just as it is. Except for that red. That red needs to have a little adjustment. I keep rotating it. Maybe leave some things to stay by themselves. I like my negative space. I don't mind my few dots. I could probably throw a couple gold dots in there if I wanted to. Might want to be a little cautious about that. I don't think I want to do much of anything, so I'm going to look and see if I have a crib sheet, which I probably do, but I don't know where. Oh, there I found it! Cool! I like it when that happens. So, I see that thing that does not belong. Goodbye thing. And uh, I have a bamboo skewer, which means that if I want to change a few things up, I can do that. Waggle a few things out. I can do that. Round a few things. Spiral a few things. Just generally have some fun, which I recommend. Fun is great. Thank you guys for all the contributions that have kept me painting for quite a while now. And uh, there's a contest. For anybody who wants to potentially win a painting for compu con <laughs> computers, for contributors to the studio. And I am going to dip my skewer and add a few dots here and there because I think that's cool. I like it. Some interesting color schemes going on. I did set my timer. Um, check on the end screens. I think I mentioned there are 750 videos there. That's also where you're going to find the contest prizes on an exhibition and a place to find my website if you want to talk to me. If you're interested in purchasing any artwork or if you want to take a class at the studio in Spring Hill, Florida, it's indoors, air conditioned, not like this. Um, my email is easpbgallery at gmail.com should you want to just communicate with me that way. YouTube does not seem to any longer want to share, allow me to share my email because I never hear back from anyone I give it to. So I've got a feeling it disappears. It's not the fault of the person. It's more just part of the protocol. So if you guys watch a lot of videos and 
include the commercials, you help me out tremendously. So even if you can't contribute any other way, you're a huge contributor if you watch the videos for longer because the YouTube algorithm knows. And if you give me a thumbs up. And I really appreciate that. I think I said that before, but I really, really appreciate the thumbs up because it helps tremendously. You guys are really supportive and I appreciate all the wonderful comments you give me every day. You keep my morale up and I really, really respect and appreciate you guys. You've got a great sense of humor too. <laughs> I am just having a good time with what I had left over for paint and uh, threw a few other things in there and I think I actually am pretty happy with my strange color scheme. I might want to try and see what happens to these. I suspect that this particular mix may darken and I don't want to go too much further because I actually kind of really like what I've got. So I love you guys. It's over 75,000 of you. If you look under show more underneath the video you're going to find my paint pouring recipe. Yeah, I know. I can't keep my tools out, can I? I'm just, <laughs> just compulsive about it. I could go too far any minute, and I don't want to. I like it the way it is. As she adds more dots. Okay, so my recipe is underneath the video. Also, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links are there. If you're looking for a Facebook group to join um, for students, abstract, excuse me, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for fans and collectors. And I have Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And you can find a Shop Now button on there that will lead you to my FineArtAmerica and Pixels.com where you can see all kinds of stuff I've been posting for years and all of the best, best of, so far best of, um, Fluid Acrylics from YouTube just recently on the uh, collection called Recent, <laughs> Recent Acrylics. So anything you purchase there or on Curios from me or um, on Teespring, my clothing is right under the video. All of those things are a vast help to me and will keep me coming back and making videos for you guys. So thank you so much. All of your help is appreciated. This is Priscilla Batzell, still playing, <laughs> in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, it's almost dinner time, so I'm going to try and stop. And somebody do what just went, good luck! <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> I swear I heard you. All right, you go ahead, you be that way. It's okay, I understand. It's from experience. I don't tell the truth about when I'm done. And I like to add dots, what can I say? And a few more dots never hurt anything. That and spirals, I love them too. All right, you guys, take care. Watch some videos. Hey, binge watch if you feel like it. I appreciate it. And ask me questions if you need to, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I want something in that orange right there. It's driving me crazy. So maybe just a little something, something. Am I sorry about it? I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, not gonna worry about it anymore. I think I said this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard, but if I didn't, I did again. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Hope to see you in another video. Bye for now. Priscilla out.